lipids lipids are the compounds containing carbon hydrogen and oxygen but here the oxygen is in less amount these are not strict macromolecules because their size is less than 800 daltons they are insoluble in water in water they form the emulsions but they are soluble in non polar organic solvents like uh, ether benzene chloroform and acetone these are the esters of fatty acid and alcohol and these are found in the acid insoluble pool when we have done the organic an uh, compound analysis in the living tissues we have seen that these lipids were the exceptions so these are exceptions because they are having the less molecular weight but they are there in the retentate part we why it has happened because during the grinding the lipid from the cell membrane they will form the vesicle and they will be trapped in the sieve during the filtration now they are insoluble in water okay how they are forming so these are formed by the acid and alcohol and this ester bond is formed in between now the types of the fatty acid these fatty acids they are the two types saturated fatty acid unsaturated fatty acid saturated fatty acid they contain only single bond the general formula of the saturated fatty acid is cnh2no2 n is the number of carbon atom and num number of oxygen is always fixed here you can see o2 that is always 2 now examples of the saturated fatty acid are c18 fatty acid is a stearic acid palmitic acid is c16 and these are not good for good fat because they increase the blood cholesterol and they are solid at the room temperature coming to unsaturated fatty acid these are single bond co compound and along with the single bond fatty acid they will have the double bonds also so both the single and double bonds are present and these double bonds these uh, unsaturation in the form of double bond or triple bond okay so general formula for the unsaturated fatty acid will be cnh2n minus 2x o2 now here n is the number of carbon x is the number of double bond and these are the good fat these are liquid at room temperature and they decrease the cholesterol in the blood now example of the unsaturated fatty acid is oleic acid oleic acid is 18 carbon acid and it has the single double bond and it is also called as mono unsaturated fatty acid because only single unsaturation is present now com coming to the next type of unsaturated fatty acid these are the linoleic acid it is again 18 carbon compound but it has the two double bond so it is the poly unsaturated fatty acid the linoleic acid again 18 carbon compound and it has the three double bonds so poly unsaturated fatty acid it is also now uh, apart from that these three 18 carbon uh, <coughs> fatty acid it, there is arachidonic acid this is 20 carbon with the four double bond this is again poly unsaturated fatty acid now fatty acids are also of two type it's essential fatty acids and non essential fatty acids so the essential fatty acids example are pufa all the poly unsaturated fatty acids now non essential fatty acids are examples are all saturated plus mufa that is uh, mono unsaturated fatty acid now coming to the next type of classification of lipid this is simple lipid conjugated lipid and derived lipid so firstly we will see the simple lipid simple lipid include triglycerides and wax simple lipids means simply they are the esters they formed by the fatty acid plus alcohol like here we can see acid plus alcohol they will form the ester and these how they are formed this is forming by the loss of water here you can see this oh and h it will form the water and this water will will come out and they will form this bond rco o r dash bond so this is the ester bond now the example having the for the simple lipid are first is the triglycerides no uh, what is happening here these are formed by the three fatty acid plus one glycerol so firstly we need to know what is glycerol glycerol is a trihydric alcohol or a triester of glycerol okay so these triglycerides are the triester of glycerol fine so how the tri now we will see how this these are the triester of glycerol now glycerol is a trihydric alcohol means three oh group are present in the, this single alcohol in this uh, single molecule like here you can see ch2oh choh and ch2h this is the one molecule of glycerol now it is combining with the three molecule of fatty acid 
these fatty acid could be same or this could be different now again what is happening here here the water will come out so three molecule of water will come out from this combination and again the, here the rco r dash bond will form so rco r dash rco r dash rco r plus 3h2 this way the triester of glycerol is formed here okay so these are the triglycerides or these are also called as neutral fats coming to the second type of uh, this uh, simple lipid is the wax now wax this could be b wax these are formed by the worker bee because how the worker bee form the wax they have the glands in their abdomen and there they will store this type of wax and this wax is a type of simple lipid so how generally this wax is formed this wax is formed by the combination of palmitic acid and maryl alcohol maryl alcohol is a one type of monohydric alcohol now this b wax is used in the lots of industries like candle cosmetic and different type of ways now second type is the wax d second type of triglyceride is that is secreted by some bacteria generally pathogenic bacteria so it is a pathogenic wax third type of simple wax is simple lipid is the lanolin this is formed by the Uh, these are the cutaneous fur of certain animal formed by the lanolin okay so that that is formed on the cutaneous fur of certain animal okay so that is lanolin again the cerumen wax we all know human ear have this cutin and suberin these are present in the plants and these are also simple lipids so these all are the examples of the simple lipid coming to the conjugated lipid conjugated as the name indicate here the lipid plus one non lipid part is there so generally one lip, uh, part of the <clears throat> lipid will be conjugated with a non lipid part okay so this part uh, could be non lipid part could be any okay other than alcohol and fatty acid now here we can see first type of conjugated lipid is phospholipid this is the most abundant conjugated lipid it is formed by one molecule of glycerol as uh, as, as usual in place of three fatty acid what is happening here two fatty acids are added and one phosphate group are added that is why it is called as phospholipid because of the conjugation with the phosphate group so now this is the phospholipid example is lecithin okay so we all know phospholipid it is present in the cell membrane and we all know in this um, uh, two ends are there fatty acid and phosphate group they will po polar group will be formed by the phosphate that will form the hydrophilic end and fatty acid tail will be non polar that will form the hydrophobic end here we can see this okay so these are the this is the amphipathic amphipathic molecule means both the hydrophilic and hydrophobic characteristics are shown now if you see the characteristic of this um, phospholipid this is the structure of phospholipid that is the two group two fatty acids are attached here with the uh, glycerol and third glycerol um, uh, uh, the the third oh of the glycerol that here what will happen one phosphate group phosphoric acid will come phosphate group will attached here so this will form the polar end and this all will form the non polar end okay so now coming to the example here it is the lecithin now we will see the lecithin now um, this this is generally firstly we will see the phospholipid this is the phospholipid now the some of the modifications will be there in the phospholipid now what will happen that will form by the n containing compound choline with the phosphate what happen if the n containing compound the like normal phospholipid if uh, some other nitrogen containing compound some modification is there in that phospholipid then it will form the modified phospholipid so lecithin is a type of modified phospholipid in which the nitrogen containing compound choline will interact with this molecule here you can see so this is the normal phospholipid but here not nitrogen containing choline will be added to this phos uh, phosphate uh, this side okay this phospholipid part so this uh, choline will form at th uh, this phospholipid plus choline they will form the lecithin now how it is formed it is formed by addition of nitrogen containing choline with the phosphate okay now what is the role of this choline choline is very important it acts as a surfactant now it is present in the internal uh, surface of the alveoli why it is important because if only water or the muc or the aqueous layer is there these this because of uh, this surface could collapse but because of the presence of this surfactant it is going to lower the surface surface tension of that area this will prevent the wall of the alveoli from collapse so that is why this lecithin is formed by the 
nitrogen containing choline plus phospholipid okay second type of modified phospholipid is the sphingolipid this uh, sphingosine alcohol used in the uh, here sphingosine alcohol used in the formation they formed ceramide and used in the formation of malin sheath around the axon third is the glycolipid third type of modified uh, lipid is the glycolipid that is the sugar plus lipid fourth is the lipoprotein protein plus lipid and and this uh, glycolipid or chromolipid so all these are the type of different type of modified uh, phospholipids okay now coming to the derived lipid derived lipid here no fatty acid is there no alcohol is there only why they are um, considered as a lipid because of their properties because they are there is no raw material like lipid they don't have acid they don't have alcohol they don't have glycerol they don't have fatty acid but their property of insolubility in polar sol uh, in uh, non polar solvent and solubility in polar solvents that will lead the fact that they have considered as a derived lipid so the example of the derived lipids these are the cholesterols first is the esterol so is cholesterol is of very important esterol that is the Uh, four close rings are here and with the one side chain so these are the esterol this this is a important zoesterol this is formed by the fusion of these four close rings present only in animals and these are derived from the acetic acid it is precursor of cholesterol is a precursor of steroid hormone bile salts and vitamin d when cholesterol is in excess it will uh, so when it is in excess it will deposit in the blood vessel and it will cause the atherosclerosis this atherosclerosis in this condition the uh, lumen of the artery will narrow down and it will cause the myocardial ischemia now apart from the uh, cholesterol other type of esterols or the derived lipids are phytosterols in the plants prostaglandins digitoxin and diazinin so these all are the different type of derived lipid so this was all about the lipids